the last person I'm taking real estate advice from is an agent. The average agent makes less than $40,000 a year. What am I taking their advice for? 90 plus percent of them don't even make a full-time living as an agent. There's agents that don't even know what seller finance is. Go on Vegas's MLS right now. 200 listings right now on seller finance just because agents don't know it unless they are a top earner. And when I talk to a top earner agent, they go, yeah, we can figure this out. Well, what do you think? Uh, I don't necessarily, I think it painted a good picture on why you should be selective and make sure that you're choosing like, the right agent, right? You're choosing someone that's operating an eye level, knows their industry and knows their market. And the reality is like, those agents are providing value. If you're just talking about averages, their bell curve is there for a reason. So there's definitely <laughs> going to be people on the bottom that you might not want to take advice from. Yeah, I think I agree with you and I agree with him. There's one of the challenges that we see from time to time is like, oh, my you know, brother-in-law is a part-time agent, mm -hmm. right? And then inevitably opportunity is lost. You know, things get hung up because it's not an area of expertise. It's going more with like your heart than it is with logic around making a really big financial decision. And certainly, you know, if that's the way you want to go, you're setting yourself up for some additional pain versus working with, you know, an agent that's highly reputable, someone who's been in the business for a while and can give you great guidance. So, you know, I, I don't like the, uh, the comments around earnings. I think that's disproportionate depending on what market you're in. But if you're looking at those averages, yeah, certainly the bell curve is there.